Matt Kuchar leads the PGA Championship for the first time in his career, but there's still quite a bit of golf to be played heading into the weekend at Whistling Straits. Welcome to PGA Tour Today, presented by MasterCard. Early morning fog forcing yet another delay. Now round two will bleed into day three. Hello everyone, I'm Casey Black. Matt Kuchar, who is looking for his first win this year, leads by one stroke at the 92nd PGA Championship. He's one of a few players who were able to finish their second round. 78 players were still on the course when play was called due to darkness. Those players will finish up their second rounds early Saturday morning at 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 a.m. Eastern, before the third round can get underway. In the meantime, Kuchar, who is your leader, carded four birdies and one bogey on the par 4 sixth en route to his three under 69 on the day. This marks just his second 36-hole lead. He was previously tied at the top of the leaderboard at the 2008 Justin Timberlake Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. He ultimately finished second. Kuchar is competing in his third PGA Championship this week and will mark the first time he's made the cut at this event. And sitting just one shot back is Nick Watney, who followed up his opening round 69 with a 4 under 68. Watney, who is 28th in the FedEx Cup standings, has made the cut in every major championship this year, as has Kuchar. He logged 11 top 25 finishes on tour this year, including six top 10s with his best finish, a fourth at the Transitions Championship. In his last three starts prior to the PGA Championship, he posted a tie for seventh at the AT&T National and British Open as well as a tie for 16th last week at the World Golf Championships Bridgestone Invitational. And there's a log jam of players just sitting two shots off the lead at five under par. They include Dustin Johnson, Jason Duffner, Bryce Mulder, Zach Johnson, and Rory McIlroy to name a few. All of those players have completed their second rounds, as did Phil Mickelson, who was three under on his second round and now sit at two under par heading into the weekend. He carded six birdies, one bogey, and a double on the par 4 18th. And Tiger Woods still on the course when the horn blew due to darkness on Friday. He was at even par on the day through six holes, still at one under par when he picks up his second round early Saturday morning. Fred Albers is at Whistling Straits in Kohler, Wisconsin, and has more now on what we can expect for the weekend. Fred? Casey, golf is a game of momentum. It's a game of rhythm, and so far it's been very difficult to accomplish that here at Whistling Straits for the simple reason we've had so many stops and starts. We've had three separate delays because of fog at the very start of the round, and there is rain expected for the weekend. It's hard for a golfer to get any kind of rhythm on the golf course, get a feel for his game, get a feel for the layout, get a touch for the greens. When you're stopping and starting constantly, it really tests your patience, and that's why players like Zach Johnson, who plays with a lot of patience, could be a factor this weekend. And who is the most mentally strong golfer in the field? Tiger Woods. He can remain patient forever and in difficult conditions, Tiger knows how to flight his golf ball. We should have challenging conditions the entire weekend and it should be fun as the PGA Championship unfolds. You can catch all the action. It's PGA Championship Week on Sirius XM. Our broadcast begins at noon Eastern time and Casey, of course, everyone can check back on PGATour.com for the very latest updates throughout the day. Thank you, Fred, and you can watch the rest of the second round coverage and the start of the third round coverage of the PGA Championship starting on TNT at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, and then CBS will pick up the coverage starting at 2 o'clock Eastern. And don't forget, for instant information right at your fingertips anytime, head to PGATour.com. PGA Tour Today is presented by MasterCard. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard, proud sponsor of the PGA Tour.